the Panasonic GH5 is a great camera. I love the 4K60, the 422-10 bit color. The stabilization is incredible, but I was this close to sending it back. I even shot a video explaining why I was gonna send this back, which hopefully, if what I do now goes to plan, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna keep it. The reason for that is this. This is the uh, eight Sigma 18 to 35 lens with a Metabones XL 0.64 times, I think it is, speed boost adapter. And it doesn't work with the GH5. It does with the GH4, which is what I'm shooting uh, this video with. But let me show you what happens right now if I attach the Sigma with this adapter to the GH5. Okay, so here we have it. So as you can see on the viewfinder, it does work. You can see that adjusting, but as soon as I zoom in, like so, that way, yeah, that way, it freezes. Completely freezes. And you can unzoom it, and it should unfreeze. Yeah, it's unfrozen, uh, but basically it doesn't work. I spent a lot of money on this lens and this adapter, and I really like it. So I was really disappointed when I spent 1,700 quid on the GH5, only to find out the uh, Metabones adapter did not work. There's some uh, electronic or firmware issue with it, which meant uh, this happened. Now, there was also some uh, vignetting in the corners, which you could see, especially if you were tilted it, if you sort of swiveled it fast. So. I was a bit disappointed, very close to sending it back, but I just found out about 10 minutes ago that Metabones have released a firmware update for the GH5. So I haven't tested it yet. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna install it now that the Sigma and the adapter will now work. So let's plug it in. Uh, if you have this set up, I'll show you quickly how you do it. So you're gonna actually wanna take this off the, off the camera. And then you've got the uh, Sigma, you've got the adapter here. So you pull this back and you unscrew that. So that, is literally it. You go to the Metabones website and you can see their most recent press release is of this new patch. Go to the bottom, download it, Metabones. Okay, so now hand the USB here already, so let's plug that in. This is so weird, plugging in a adapter this size to a micro USB on your PC. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this fixes it on the GH5 because I know this is a big reason a lot of people have been disappointed with it, uh, aside from the questionable autofocus and also a lot of people haven't bought one yet because they've been waiting for this done okay so i can unplug this okay we're in turn it on okay so working straight off we're not zooming in at all we're at the 18 uh, mark so hopefully i haven't tested this if i zoom in and it doesn't freeze it means it's fixed if it freezes then it might be going back okay let's go it works! Yes! The Metabones adapter update has fixed it. I can now zoom in and out, and it does not freeze. It's clearly fixed it. As for vignetting, let's have a look. Um, still a little bit. I'm still seeing a little bit in the corners when I uh, move it fast like this. It's sort of a little bit slower. Keeping it still on the viewfinder, at least here uh, I, on the screen, I can't see any vignetting and I've got quite bright um, a scene here so excellent it's fixed and actually thank you to PC centric Marcus Cole who basically tweeted me saying pot Tom before you send it back check this out I think they've uh, done an update so um, you've, you've saved the day Marcus you've saved the day so I think the last thing to do is give it a bit of a try and here we are, Panasonic GH5 with the Sigma 18 to 35 Metamodes adapter. This is completely handheld. This obviously doesn't have the dual stabilization that you would get with uh, this lens, which is the Panasonic lens, because this obviously isn't Panasonic. So it only has the built-in stabilization into the GH5. It's not using that two IS feature. So this will be a little bit more wobbly, uh, but it works. I can zoom in as much as you probably don't want to see me zoom in into my face like so. Let's wait for the autofocus to catch up, if it will. Uh, yeah. So the, the autofocus is still quite slow, as you can see. We'll worry about that another day. But at least it works. So if you do have a Sigma and a Metabones adapter and you think about buying the GH5 or you have it, get the patch. It works. It's really easy to do. It takes two seconds. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you make of the GH5 in the comments below. And I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.